Hi, Nolan. Okay, I have your dad's true poke here. It is running very, very, very weakly. Very, very weakly. It's just, um, uh, ooh, there, I think it's, I don't know what's going on. Well, I think we can probably agree on the idea that it needs service. It's running really, really, really super duper weakly. My machine can't even really get a signal on it. It's original, I'll tell you that. Okay, let's let's talk cosmetics, because really, when it comes to something like this, that's what matters. This is a true Pogue. And I, I know as your father's watching, you weren't really aware of that, but I was kind of shocked to see the picture, because you were like, hey, I have this old 6139, it belonged to my dad, he wore it a lot, I'd like to get it running again. And I looked at the pictures and I said, oh goodness, it's a true Pogue. Movement's hazy, but it's not bad. You've your your winding bridge is loosening up. You've got a little bit of. Uh, so I pick this up. Would you focus? Focus. See the sort of dark bronzy line right here. That's wear from the, um, the oscillating weight and a loose bridge here, allowing that weight to hit the top of this bridge. Your lower mainspring armor port feels pretty tight. That's good. Uh, the key spec has one um, surfacing mark inside of it. doesn't really tell me anything except that at some point it did actually get work done. Genuine. Look at that. True poke. Look at that dial. The loom is a little grayed out, but not bad. I tell you. This dial, I mean, if we had a replacement indicator ring, if we put that in here, a dark, nice yellow one, this would just be stunning. But even as it is, it's great. These little dark marks and stuff on here, I, I'm not going to be able to do anything with that. I'm honestly, I'm wondering with this servicing mark in the back, I wonder, and, and it, with how faded this is, I wonder if this is a replacement dial. Nah, nah, no, it can't be. I'll look at the dial on the back of the day. I'll look at the date on the back of the dial. That will certainly tell us more. No, nah, no, nah, I'm not. I don't think so. That's just some damage. Hand loom looks good. The hand's a little hazy, but I can clean that up. That'll clean right up. That's um, aerosolized uh, um, lubricant that got picked up with moisture inside and dropped onto this hand. It's not a big deal. Clean that up. The hands are beautiful. Uh, this hand snaps a little bit to this side of top dead center. There's really nothing I can do about that. That's a function of the tube on this hand. There's just no way to really make that better. Um, but, you know, that's not really that big of a deal. Yep. It's the real deal. It's a real deal. Service seals. You know, but it's amazing. I mean, this is nice enough. The crystal's nice enough. I might actually, I would actually potentially just tell you just to keep it. Don't swap that out. It's got a few marks on it, but this is a Type 2 domed crystal original Seiko. That's not bad enough. I'd keep it. Why swap it out if it doesn't need to be swapped out? This will be a nice watch. Um, I have these replacement in links. I see you're missing one. Uh, does this watch fit you is the question. That's a pretty long bracelet. I don't know why they went and put a the long Seiko quartz clasp on it. It should have the short one. But it's up to you. That's a nice watch. Yep. Yeah. I definitely, 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 definitely worth the investment. True Pogue. Definitely worth the investment to bring that back, especially considering it's a family watch. This will be beautiful when we're done. Okay, thank you much.